Father God, I just uh, thank you so much for just the privilege of growing up in Canada. And thank you so much for already how you've, you've blessed Canada so much. There are so many people who say they believe in you across Canada and have heard of you, Father. They've heard of you with the hearing of their ears, but God, I pray that they would see you. Father God, there's just such a deception, such a blindness and, and Bible bells across Canada of people um, still trapped in sin and um, professing that they know you, but, but God, not truly living that out, Lord. And I just pray, Jesus, that you would um, change things in my country, Lord, that you would bring outpouring of your spirit. Father, I just pray, Lord, that when you return, you would find the Canadian church strong and united. Lord, I pray for unity. There is so much division. I ask that churches that are operating, that are not following biblical principles, Lord, I just pray that um, you would bring a reformation in the church, God, a cleansing and a purging in the church. God, I, I pray, Lord, also for the many Native peoples across Canada that have been so abused over the years and the alcoholism and the to separation that sin brings, God, in families. I pray, Lord Jesus, that so many Native peoples would come to faith in you, that you would you would bring healing and reconciliation among the Natives and the Caucasian. And I just pray that um, many of these on the Native reserves, God, many of the fathers, Lord, would, would uh, be born again and would grow up to be men of courage. And I just ask for your hand also be upon the, the French and Canadians in Quebec and also in Ontario. I just pray, Lord, that you would make these dry bones live. Quebec is the greatest mission field in North America. Father, I just pray that your spirit would rush in and, and cause people to start building their lives on the rock that you are, Jesus. I just pray that, that you would gain worshipers for yourself, Lord, worshipers who worship you in spirit and in truth, God, in every province, Lord. Please, God, and that you would work and change I God, that you would change the abortion law in Canada and, and even the, the gay rights, God, the immorality and just how people are so desensitized to sin. Just have this apathetic attitude, Father, and just materialism. And there's so many unreached peoples that are coming to Canada and not seeing a proper witness of you. God, I just pray for your mercy and the wrath that's coming against my nation, God. And as we've been given much, much will be required of us. Lord, I just ask that you would revive your church, Jesus. Thank you that you are building your church in Canada, God. And I just pray, Father, you would give a hunger for yourself, Lord, in, in my country, in my province, in British Columbia, in Alberta, God, and in the Northwest Territories, and in none of it, God, in these places where there's high suicide rate because of the smaller population, and um, out, it gets colder and darker up north, and just people resorting to the bottle. I just pray, Lord, um, for your mighty hand. God, Canada may not be a country where there's people starving, but millions are still headed towards hell, God. I just pray that, that people would wake up and start praying for Canada and start caring for, for the nations, God, as you say that your, your house will be a house of prayer for all nations, God. And I just pray that Canada wouldn't be forgotten and that Canada, you would find intercessors for Canada, God. Thank you so much, Lord, that you can boldly approach your throne. God, I pray also for your blessing on the Maritimes, God, and that, that Canadians wouldn't just be passionate about hockey, but passionate for your name, Lord, that people who call themselves Christians in Canada would have a passion for your glory, God, way more, way more than, than for hockey, God. That your church in Canada would care for the lost again and care for the poor again, and that your church in Canada would start looking outward, Father God. I pray that you would just be glorified, God. I ask this in your name, Jesus.